Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 37 week pregnancy update, which is so exciting. I am officially what they would call term or full term, depending on different doctors. My hospital considers you full term at 37 weeks, which means that the baby can come and be completely healthy, completely normal, and they will not try and prevent labor at any stage at this point, which is super exciting. So that is where I'm at at the moment. Um, the baby weighs, according to my apps, approximately six to six and a half pounds. And he is approximately 18 to 19 inches. Um, and that obviously is just a general assumption. He could be smaller or bigger than that. But that is the general assumption that all the apps sort of have at the moment. So this is, like I said, my pregnancy update for 37 weeks. Um, if you missed my last fortnight's video, I will let you um, leave that linked on the top of the screen here for you guys to go check it out. But basically I will be doing these videos weekly until he comes now because I feel like a lot more is happening um, more frequently than what they were previously. I'm going to start off this video with saying that I look absolutely shocking today. I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm keeping it really chill and that is just because of one of my symptoms that I will talk about and that is the constant Braxton Hicks contractions that I've been getting. Um, they sort of have good and bad days, they flare up a lot more some days, a lot less others, but all night last night I was in a lot of discomfort. I kept waking up to go to the bathroom because that has been something that has increased significantly because I do believe he has dropped and engaged now. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. But also the tightening in my stomach and sort of the light cramps with back pain in my stomach has just been keeping me awake. So I did not sleep very well at all tonight so I am keeping it real chill today um, because there is not enough caffeine in the world that I'm allowed to have to make me feel a bit more like a human today. So Let's jump into some of the rest of my symptoms. As I was saying, I do believe that he has dropped further down and engaged, I think. Um, I'm getting a lot more Braxton Hicks. I'm getting a lot more pelvic pain, a lot more hip pain. Um, walking is becoming very, very difficult and uncomfortable. I still walk plenty. That does not stop me. I still try and get my six or so thousand steps a day. Yesterday I did almost 10,000. So I'm still walking plenty because it is good for me and it is good for the baby to be walking and exercising a ton. But I have been getting really severe shooting pains in the vaginal region. Um, and I believe it is lightning crotch, if that's what they call it. Um, but I get them so regularly, it's not even funny. Like, I will get them multiple times within an hour, and it is very, very painful. Um, after doing a little bit of research on the type of pain I was getting, um, a lot of websites did say that it could be the baby um, sort of bouncing on your cervix or putting pressure on your cervix. So that is exciting, but also incredibly uncomfortable. Along with that, I have a new symptom that I've never had before, which happened a couple times now, and that is um, while I've been getting sort of the cramping and the back pain, I have been getting a little bit of thigh pain, upper thigh pain. Um, it kind of feels like cramping pain in my thighs, which is really uncomfortable, um, and I sort of have to massage them and like rub them because it's very, very uncomfortable. Uh, but not super painful, just quite uncomfortable and definitely new for me. Another sort of abdominal region thing I have been uh, feeling is, um, this is probably a little bit TMI, but this is a pregnancy vlog, so I am going to share it with you. Um, it is the uh, change in my bowel movements. Um, as a lot of you who are pregnant would know that you get quite backed up throughout your pregnancy. I have been pretty much bracked up my entire pregnancy, um, which was great. Does not make you feel fun wonderful. And then probably about three days ago, um, I was backed up in the morning and then I was having loose bowel movements by lunchtime and ever since then I have been having looser bowel movements multiple times in a day. So they're not diarrhea by any means but it's definitely looser and they're definitely coming more frequently. I have no idea if that is a sign of labour. I know that diarrhea is a sign of labour but this is another symptom I've been getting just for the past three or four days along with a lot of these other symptoms. They all sort of started 
towards the end of last week. So really, really annoying because I will be, you know, out and about and then suddenly have to run to the bathroom, which I do a lot anyway because I have to pee a lot. But this is just a whole nother level. So that's super exciting. And on top of that, with him dropping, I thought that I would no longer have the issues with indigestion and heartburn. And in fact, I'd kind of said goodbye to those quite a few weeks ago. I wasn't really having them uh, for quite some time unless I ate far too much food. They are well and truly back with a vengeance, which is fabulous. Um, and so now I'm at the stage where even if I just eat a small meal, I do get terrible indigestion. I get terrible heartburn. I'm having to take indigestion tablets slash heartburn tablets with me everywhere I go now and have them on the twice a day some days. Otherwise, I do actually feel like I'm going to throw up my food because it just sits right here and I can kind of feel it sitting in the bottom of my throat and sometimes it does sort of travel up and feel like I'm going to throw up. It is not that I feel particularly nauseous, although it does sort of make me feel nauseous. Um, it's just that my body doesn't seem to be processing food anywhere near as quickly as it used to. And this has been something that has only been happening the past few days. So, really annoying. <laughs> Um, I'm having to eat a lot smaller meals and even that is not really helping. So that is just a super fun uh, symptom that I have gotten back. And I think it is just because as your body prepares to the labour, your digestive system just slows down. So I think that's all that is. As I was saying, I have been getting a lot of those sort of cramping and back pains. That's, you know, there's no regularity to them. Um, they just come and go. The baby is still moving a ton. Um, he does have very quiet days, but he is still moving on those quiet days. And a lot of his movements feel a little bit lower down. They used to be quite up high in the bottom of my rib cage. Now they sort of uh, linger around my belly button uh, or just above my belly button. So I do believe he is still continuing to drop. And my stomach, I think to me, just looks lower and lower every time I look at it. And yeah, so at the last symptom that I have in my little list of symptoms for this week is the extreme hot flashes. So I've been getting these for a while. I'm always very warm. The last couple months I have been hot pretty much all the time. If everyone else is cold, I am hot. These are coming at more extreme cases now. I am just getting hot flashes where I am sweating to ridiculous points where I, everyone else around me is like, yeah, it's kind of warm and I am literally dripping. Like I'm having to like wipe my face and dab my face with like um, napkins or tissues because I have dripping with sweat um, and they will just come on in flashes and it just makes me super hot and I know that is probably to do with all the hormones that are just raging through my body at the moment but that is another super fun symptom that just seems to be getting worse so those are all my symptoms for 37 weeks there's not a ton of updates to give you guys um, everything is seems to be going really well we are pretty much just waiting for the baby now. Uh, I am starting to feel a little bit anxious uh, about labour. Not necessarily um, about the pain of labour or anything like that, although that does make me a little bit nervous. It's more about the when. I'm quite anxious about the when we're going to go into labour. I'm really hoping it's in the soon precinct uh, and not so much in the after my due date. Um, I'd really hope that he would come pretty soon. Let me know if any of these symptoms sound really familiar to you before you went into labour because I feel like they just ramp up every week and they are getting more and more progressively worse. Um, but on top of being very anxious, I am so excited. We are so ready to meet this little boy. We are. His room is done. Our room is done. We are just ready to meet him. Although I have to say, I think some of that nesting instinct has kicked in and we have decided to lay concrete and paint our house in the next two weeks. So I don't know how that happened. Um, I don't know if that was the nesting thing or if that was just this is when we decided to do it. But we are now currently in the process of getting concrete laid and going to start painting our house tomorrow, actually. So a little bit nuts, but what can I do? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will insert a bit of a picture of my bump for you guys to see. It probably doesn't look too different from last week for you guys. To me, it just looks a lot lower than what it was. But it might not be as obvious to you guys on the screen. I really hope you guys 
enjoyed this video and I will see you on Friday for a new video. Thank you so much. Bye.